Stock Insights, Stock, Crypto, Analysis, Discovery. Let's go. In today's video, we're going to be talking about MM Finance and their ninth launchpad event with MM ETF. The launchpad is actually going down right now. Still a few more hours if you're interested in getting into this launchpad event. But we're going to actually look at the steps into getting into the launchpad so you can take a part of it. But before we do that, my first video regarding MM ETF was titled MM DAO. Okay. And then they changed it to MM ETF. So what we're going to first do is take a look at, you know, what is an ETF? You know, looking at one of the biggest examples here in the United States. So we can kind of get an idea of where MM is trying to go with changing it from a DAO to an ETF. So if you're interested in that, stick along for the whole video. Like this video if you like this video. I can't tell you one thing about that YouTube algorithm, but if you like this video, you will be helping out your boy. I do appreciate it. Let's get right into the video. So talking about ETFs, you know, these are some key takeaways from it. Okay, so an ETF is an exchange traded fund. And what it basically is, is just a basket of securities that trades on exchange, just like the stocks do. So this is similar to what MM ETF is trying to do. Now, usually with dials, they are backed one to one by the DAI token. MM ETF is not doing that. They actually have a basket of assets they are going to be backing this M ETF token with, that being MMF token, crypto.com token, and a couple of liquidity pairs. I believe like the Savannah MMF liquidity pair and the MMF Crow liquidity pair. So as we can see, it's not just one asset. It's not just DAI as with your traditional OM or OM fork or DAO. This is more or less taking on a traditional method of an ETF having more than one asset backing the M ETF token. And I mean, there's a little bit of correlation here. So ETFs can contain all types of investments, including stocks, commodities, or bonds. So this is the same principle that's working with MM ETF. So it's not just one asset. Again, you have liquidity pairs and you have single assets that are gonna be backing the M ETF token. So what we're taking a look at right here, this is the Spider ETF, which tracks the S&P 500. So the S&P 500 is an index just tracking the 500 biggest companies here in America by market capitalization. Now the S&P 500, you can't necessarily trade, but you can trade the Spider ETF. So as we take a look here, we're looking at some of the biggest companies. There's 500, but they only have 25 listed here. As we take a look at the top 10 here, we have Apple all the way through United Health Group. Now we see this weighted percentage here. This is what they're talking about by weighted by market capitalization. Apple is the biggest company traded on the US stock exchange. And we see that their weight within this ETF is 6.93 percentage. As we move on down, Microsoft is the second biggest company on the United States Stock Exchange. We see that it is carried over by the weight of 5.39 percentage and so on and so forth. So this actually goes in order based on the market cap of said company. As we move down here to the bottom, we see Cisco, you know, they are the 25th biggest company by market capitalization on the US stock exchange. And we see they have their appropriate weight by their market capitalization. Now that particular instance, I think this is different with MM ETF. I don't think they're doing it by said market capitalization weight. I think it's just by whatever assets are used to back the M ETF token. So one thing I did want to go over, they did release this, you know, everyone wants to know how to earn so with this being something new, it is important to go over, you know, how you're going to earn with this M ETF protocol. So they're stating that there's three main ways of earning. One is bonding, two is staking, and three is just a central price appreciation. So let's just go through it. And it's going from the more complicated to the more straightforward. Okay, price appreciation, we won't really go into in depth. You know, you kind of get that. But let's just go over this bonding aspect. Now, this is slightly more complicated strategy to understand, but essentially the METF protocol needs to buy assets required for its, for its strategy. 
It does so by offering bonds. Now these bonds are sold to users at varying rates and discounts between three and 10%. Now in one of my previous videos regarding MM ETF, they did state that they will not be having discounts of over 10% as this does encourage dumping to an instance where if you have a deep discounted asset and it reaches peg or whatever it's trying to do, then that just encourages people to offload as quickly as possible. So they're saying they're trying to stave that off by keeping the discounts for the bonds at a reasonable rate. But to continue on, when users purchase a bond, they need to provide tokens that the protocol wants. So what does this protocol want? It wants MMF tokens, it wants the METF MMF liquidity pair tokens, and also the MMF Savannah liquidity pair tokens, and etc. So it's gonna be a basket, multiple tokens that you will be able to exchange for the METF token. When users buy a bond, the METF tokens will be issued to the user over a vested period of five days. The discount rate mentioned refers to additional bonus METF tokens a user will get. So that is kind of you know complicated, is more complicated than the other two aspects of how to earn here. But basically you can think of bonding as more or less like a sale. You're getting a discount to purchase these tokens. So let's just go over the second aspect, staking. So staking is slightly more straightforward because you know it's been used in DeFi for some time now. So this just refers to staking of your METF tokens in a pool that issues out more METF tokens to you. The reason for this is so that the METF token holders can earn interest while awaiting for the price appreciation of the actual MTF token. So again, yeah, that's more straightforward. You are offering your MTF tokens into a pool and as a reward, you're getting METF tokens back. And then just the most straightforward approach to any asset, you know, stocks, bonds, crypto, is price appreciation. You wanna buy low, you wanna sell it high. So, you know, that's just more straightforward for all assets. So we're here on the Launchpad site here. So we can see here that there's still nine hours and 50 minutes yet if you wanted to take part of this Launchpad event. Well, we're just gonna simply go through the steps here now, I did partake of this in a very, very, very small fashion as this will be my first Launchpad event. So I will be updating you guys to let you know how that went. But just to go over the steps real quick. First of all, you gotta connect your wallet and make sure you're on the Kronos mainnet if you're using MetaMask or if you're using a Crypto.com wallet, you know, you don't have to ensure that because you should be on the Kronos mainnet. But how to take part, step one, you gotta purchase the MMF token because that's what you got to purchase the METF token with. One thing that's not stated here is that the exchange rate is 15 MMF tokens for one MMETF token. So that is something to take into consideration. You have 15 of one asset to exchange for one of another asset. So let's just continue on to step two is that you got to commit your MMF tokens. So when the Launchpad sale is live, you commit your MMF tokens to buy the token on sale. The MM Finance Launchpad uses the overflow method. Too lazy didn't read. Basically, the more you put in, the more you will get, and you will get back anything that doesn't get spent. So let's say, you know, I just gave you that ratio of one to 15. Let's say that, you know, you're in the middle and you only have nine additional MMF tokens. What they're gonna do is after they give you or set aside the allocated METF tokens, whatever is not used for that METF, it just gets refunded back to you. And then the final step here is to claim your token. So after the launch pad sales finish, you can claim any tokens that you bought and any unspent MMF tokens will be returned to your wallet. And that's just a simple skinny of how it all goes. Okay, so this three-step method, nothing too fancy, nothing too complicated here. We can see so far the total committed is over 7.6 million. So they more than exceeded what they were trying to raise for this Launchpad event. With there still being nine hours yet, you do have the ability, you know, if you didn't know what this was, you just want to get more information as to what you're going to be doing here. You can click on the project site and just get all the information, you know, everything that I went over in my two previous videos talking about this, they go in more to depth with this Git book here. So I strongly encourage you to come here to look this up to see, you know, what they're trying to do, how they're going to do it, how they're going to implement it 
we went over you know how you know you get ways to earn but there's just so much more information here just so you can get a full understanding of what's to come so that's the video for you guys so what do you guys think you know are you taking a part of this mm etf launch pad are you bullish on the whole concept of it being an etf and not a dow like it's been used over and over again on multiple blockchains whatever your thoughts leave them in the comments down below thank you guys for watching this video and i'll catch you in the next one